Hello, Prim friends. Well, it is Friday afternoon in Ohio, and it keeps going between snow and hail and rain, and then the sun comes out and is absolutely gorgeous. Well, I am at one of our favorite places to shop for Prims. This is the Cluttered Coop. I'll make sure to have the information in the description and on the screen as well. But this is located at 133 Fulton in Worcester, Ohio. And again, this is the Cluttered Coop. They are not open all the time. They have special weekends where they're open. This is the first weekend that they will be open um, with this new renovation and how they've reconstructed and uh, found some reclaimed buildings that they have put together. And I've walked through it, but wait until you see what they have done. It is absolutely, I'm just, I'm speechless. It's incredible. So their open house this weekend is Saturday, April 6th, beginning at 10 a.m. and they're open until three on Saturday. And then Sunday, their weather is actually supposed to be a little better on Sunday. The shop will be open from noon until three o'clock. So, come on, and we'll go ahead on inside the cluttered coop and explore. Just love the sound of the crunch under my feet. This building was added now to the original coop that's over here. So if you've been here before, you'll know that that's the room and that's the door that you used to go in. Now you go in this store. Love how she's got this pot with some tulips. That's so cute. And the little hook with the ball jar and all of these amazing washstands and the chicken feeders and the little wagon wheels. Just, oh gosh. They, they really have such an eye for this prim style. All right, now the new way to get in is through this door right here. Oh. Let the camera adjust here for a minute. Check out the door. This is neat. It's like a little branch for a handle. So this part of the building, they were telling me, was actually this piece here with this peaked top. This was the second, it was a two-story building. And they cut the bottom portion off, used some of the flooring then from the other section to floor the building. There, got the door to close. There's a little heater in here now. They have lights. So they have combined several of the buildings and just, so it's all here, you go out the back and then there's one more little building there. But I'll just do a little quick walk around here and give you sort of the lay of the land. So again, tomorrow, April 6th, is the first day for the open house uh, this this weekend and then also on Sunday 12 to 3 all right I'm trying to figure out where to even start because I'm just it's just gorgeous well let's go into the silo and we'll kind of walk this area her prices are wonderful that I have always seen and it's so much fun to shop here. Now, she will, she is willing to ship smalls. But you have to understand that sometimes, like let's say those little clothespins are 25 cents a piece. The quilt squares are a dollar. Sometimes, oftentimes, 
the cost for shipping may be more than the item or items that you're looking for. So just keep that in mind. You know, we, we have no control over what, um, what our postal shipping costs are. Look at all of these wonderful quilts just sort of bundled into that. Her displays are amazing. And here we have a guest. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> Does your mommy know where you are? I bet the door didn't close. There's a really neat uh, coverlet up there. Several colors in that. And then the washboard and the sock dryers here hanging from these hooks. So cute. All these wonderful rag balls. They would have been um, saved. Rags would have been saved that way in order to eventually then make the uh, braided rugs. Look at these cute little chandelier lamp shades or maybe for a little the little candles. Love the basket. Again, lots more vintage pieces of fabric. If you maybe do your own notebooks or, or things like that that you cover with fabrics. This is a great place for that. Look at all those feed sacks. Oh, lots of different names on those. I see Attica Farmers Exchange. Berry granulated sugar hog supplement. So cute. Look at that beam across the top. Again, more quilts. There's a framed a framed piece of a quilt. Some little curtains, some wax ornies, and here one of those um, wool winders or, or yarn winders. That's actually where the saying pop goes the weasel come from because as as they would have turned that several times, many times, after a certain number of times, the the mechanism would cause a pop. And that's actually where the song Pop Goes the Weasel comes from. Love these. Crocs out of Parkersburg, West Virginia. Those are wonderful. And the little, little spice containers here in the corner. Those aren't old, but they sure are a great look. Those are row pottery. And again, check out how all of these little boxes are stacked. This little shelf with, or the little box with three dividers. They are so clever for doing things for Christmas decorating or Easter decorating or just every day. You know, all the little puts sheep can be in there at Christmas time. The bottle brush trees. Here's another one of those. Parkersburg, Virginia, West Virginia, Crocs, lots of postcards. Here's some um, flower frogs, really tiny little ones, and they use them to hold the pictures. So, so clever. Here's the checkout area for bringing all your wonderful prim finds. And then here on this side, love these little boxes. And these with the, oh, yep, yeah, those are artificial uh, sedums. But look how cute, my goodness, they look so real. Love that little barrel in the corner. And then the berry box, or the berry carrier for picking the berries. And here, one of those prim scales, and I love that 
shape of container. We often see those used that way in that shape for for flowers or harvesting flowers. They look very French. We do have things already planted at Tweed Thistle Farms. The first cool season hardy annuals are in the ground. Um, after we go through this cold snap t uh, tomorrow, we will have much more of those cool season hardy annuals getting hardened off and in the ground. I am so looking forward to flower season this year. Look at all these wonderful wooden spoons and mashers, rolling pins, the butter paddle. Just so sweet. This actually looks like, I'm not sure what that is and I'm afraid to pull it out. That actually looks like a piece of tiger maple. They do have some wonderful cutting boards. Here's the pigs. And the buckets. There's a, that's actually a dry sink. I'm seeing there with the shelf behind it. Fantastic. This, I would almost say that was a pie safe. Let's see, are there holes on the side? Yes. Okay, so there's a tin pie safe. The um, punched portions here on the side. Drawer in the center. And then the two doors on the bottom. What a wonderful display piece. And all the way up there to the top, Ohio Pier Lard, Ohio Provisions Company, Cleveland, Ohio. And that neat swan down cake flower box or pan there in the back and all these wonderful little wooden, small little turned wooden bowls. Gosh. I really was admiring this little wall box here. Really cute. Nice shape. Very nice, nice shape on that one. And here we go into, this was the original portion of the coop. Now joined into this new building, new old building, rather. Look at that. Here, this great large carrier. I love this this uh, shape here, this container. They've got the lights underneath, the gourds. It's just so rich and warm looking. Check out that little stack of benches. That fabulous big 10 gallon crock with the spigot at the bottom and the number 10 and then those two handles. Wow. And then all of these fabulous dark colored crocs. They are actually some of my favorites and I'll show you here in a minute if I can find one. One of the reasons why I love that shape and color so much. I'll check one out here in a minute and I'll show you. Now, what they often, this one has a lid on it. This one looks like, nope, no lid on this one. That's a nice, nice shape. They call that an ovoid because it's so much fatter in the center. Is this one gonna show me? No, this one is not gonna show me. If you have any at home, take a look at the bottom. What you'll see so often is the fingerprints of the potter who made them. These would have been the storage jars and they would have had a wax, most often would have had a wax seal over the top instead of 
um, you know, the screwed on jar lids. So such a neat, neat way to display things. And look at how, what, <laughs> here's a lantern missing the globe and there's a bird's nest. I just, I'm just so often speechless here. I get so many ideas of how to display things. And here, look at these simple shelves, just loaded with crocs and bowls and jugs as well. I love this. These are Faultscraft mugs with the punched tin on the bottom. Cute. And then what a clever way to turn a crock into a table with just a simple wooden round lid. My goodness. Now this area was one of the these pieces here they called the library if you remember that from one of the old videos from the coop um, I'll go ahead and put it in the uh, description below as well so you can check out check that out and look at how it was in the past but these wonderful books are just so neat if you want to use a vintage a vintage book and then maybe even cover with some of the newly uh, reproduction um, Civil War fabrics. You know, you don't really want to do that to a brand new book. It just wouldn't be the same when you open it. Or fill a cupboard, or even just two or three, in a cabinet, some up and some laying down. The books are just just wonderful or here just tied with the little number on the front I think there were numbers like that in one of the in the silo if I remember correctly in fact even here I see a copy of vintage copy of Black Beauty so again, if you've been here before, you'll recognize that wonderful loft. Beautiful desk with those, I'm trying to think what those are called, that kind of, is it a Jenny Lind kind of legs? And a box just filled with all kinds of chalkboards you feel like you've gone back in time here for sure wonderful atlas again this nice early bed and a cradle filled with children's toys and some early ticking and pillows. These would be some of the stretchers for hides that they maybe would have caught or trapped back in the day. Again, just so so much thought, just so incredibly well thought out. I hear hail and snow outside. Oh my gosh. Let's see. I don't want to go too fast. and It's coming from behind me. It hasn't quite hit outside yet for you to see. Here's a vintage violin and a whole bowl of wonderful sleigh bells of those. And 
and lots and lots of cheese boxes. They make such neat pieces to display with. And here are all the bells. All right, this is the original door for the shop, the original front door. Can you hear all that behind me here or above? Hardly feels like April, but we are in Ohio. Look at these wonderful jars used for candles and the little tin, the little tin cup. little snuff containers and the little little buckets and again some more of the early quilts the tied quilts probably wool oh. and this one also has the chandelier up above and then the the ladder way up on top with the with the grapevine. All right, so we'll go outside and see they do have some wonderful pieces outside as well. So this is all sort of now much more clustered together. So if it is raining or a bad day, you don't have all that far to go from inside the main shop. I love these. these shutters and these wonderful milk cans and then again all these chicken waterers with those early green painted shutters oh and look at here the ladder going up to the top of the silo too cute so even if your house isn't fully decorated, quite as prim as these pieces are, they are wonderful pieces for decorating your garden or for parties. You know, to have the washstand for, you're going to have a drain in it, of course, so you could fill it with ice, have your bottles, cans, whatever in those just such a such a neat addition for a party and here this early chicken crate lots of gourds lots of carriers here and the early scoops a couple of wonderful that one has a huge tray in the bottom for the scale. I think, well, yes, they did move this building, they said. But do you remember when we came in one of my videos and picked up the bench for the cape? Well, this is the partner. This is the other the other bench that was in that building. Gorton's Spring Chicken Brand Salt Codfish. What a cute, cute box. And then all of these vintage tins and things. These would be really cute in a primitive or early, early style uh, bathroom. Nice table, the drop leaf, the oval or the round shape. And these are so fun to decorate with. If you saw the, the video at my mom and dad's house, they have one on the wall and always have it accessorized for the various holidays. So Christmas time, maybe it's a Santa Claus and some bottle brush trees. 
again, all of the boxes stacked, displayed. So you don't have to have a cabinet necessarily or an antique cupboard. You can use these boxes stacked this way to kind of get the same look for so much less of a price. There's a looks like a corn dryer there in the corner and they have the the grates all again all together she's very very organized with how these things are all put together livestock remedy company love that tin it's a little tin pail some early stencils. Here's a knife, a knife holder. This would be beautiful in a primitive kitchen. So I always say I don't buy when I'm here to do the videos, but I think that knife box, that knife holder would be going home with me. So I wonder if I'll be here tomorrow morning before that 10 o'clock time. More Crocs. These are fun also for putting on top of a, um, you know, on top of a cheese board or something or outside for a picnic to keep, to keep the buggies away. So clever. Now that was a little building over there that we used to be able to go in. They now use that for storage. And that was so that all of these things could be much more organized and user friendly. So we'll walk around the side and show you all those fun things. So I wanted to tell you also, Prim Friends, this weekend, now yesterday I was on my way, I was, I was actually halfway to the Western Reserve Antique Shop in the Canfield, Ohio area, when my red truck, yes, that's blue, that's a loner, when my red pickup truck started to have an electrical issue. And so I had to stop, actually ended up towed, <laughs> towed to a dealership so that my vehicle um, could be fixed. So I'm very thankful for having the loaner. But if you happen to be or want to be going that direction this weekend, just know that today, Friday and Saturday, Lisa was having an open house at the Western Reserve Antique Shop. So, sorry I couldn't do the video there. I had every intention. I'll I'll put a little a little video in of what my what my situation looked like about this time yesterday. So here, nice big wide doors. Oh, it smells so good in here from the candles burning. So have you been to the coop? I would love to hear what you found. What kind of things are you looking for? And have you been inspired? Have you been inspired to add to this look in your home? I know for a fact that I have been. And the next video that I hope to do and have up very, very soon is one about collecting stone fruit. So keep watching for that as well. And again, like I said, she is willing to ship, but we can't control the shipping costs, so. Just be aware, it does take quite a lot of time to 
take the pieces, weigh, figure out what size boxes, and all that good stuff. But just be aware that we cannot control what the shipping costs are. If we could, that would be amazing. So, all right. Well, I hope you are able to make it to the Cluttered Coop for their open house starting on Saturday and Sunday, April 6th and 7th. Again, Saturday they're open from 10 o'clock until 3, and Sunday it will be from noon until 3. So take care, everyone, and we will see you in the next one very, very soon.